All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn how to use dates with Postgres. So dates is a useful concept that you must know how to use with Postgres because often when you store results in your tables, you want to record some kind of timestamp, i.e. for example, when the record was originally created or when the record was updated or for example, dates, so date of birth, as we have in our table called person. So there is one function that gives us the actual date. If you type select and then now, so this is a function and press enter, you see that this gives us the actual timestamp. So the timestamp is a combination of the date. So this is the actual date and then our minute and millisecond or actually second plus millisecond and also the actual time zone. So this is the actual shift of the actual time. And basically from this timestamp, you can actually gather the date if you want. So to get the date, you can cast this to a date. So simply press double column and then date and end that with semicolon. And now you can see that I only have the actual date. You can also get the time. So instead of casting to a date, you can cast to a time. So right here, you can see that the time is this. So hour, minute, seconds, and then plus milliseconds. So this is it really. So if you know how to use these, then you should be on a very good shape. And if I go to the docs right here, you can see that they have some documentation on date and time types. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go through this documentation. But basically, if you scroll, if I scroll down, you can see that you have date and time types. And right here you have timestamp and you can have a timestamp without time zone or with time zone. So depending where you live, you can specify the actual time zone. Then you also have date and then time with time zone and without, and also you have interval. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use interval in a second. But if I go back to PSQL and describe our table called person. So right here, you can see that we already have used the date type, right? So for example, if you wanted to have a timestamp without time zone, you simply type timestamp without time zone, or actually this one here or with time zone, simply with time zone. So this is all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you some useful date functions that you must be aware of. This is all for now. Join me in the next video. See ya.